Hello. Hello. I'm Giorgio. Pleasure to meet you. I'm you Anita. Hi, I'm David. Arriving on one of the Marquesas Islands, ancient astronaut theorists Giorgio Sukolos and David Childress meet with local guide Aniata Kimitete. Right now, we are at the Tohua of Temehia. So the Tohua is the gathering place. And so this sculpture here is a modern sculpture. But is this based on something old? Yes, because the site that we are on was rebuilt. Even though it's modern, it's really based on the original statue. Oh, wow, OK. Is this considered a tiki? Yes, these tikis represent the population. So to the Marquesan people, what is a tiki? A tiki at first was the representation of our god of magic and sorcery. He was one of the only god in French Polynesia that has the face of a man. He became our protector, because when you have a tiki by your side, then you, you're protected from your enemy. In the Marquesas, the word tiki can be used to refer both to an ancestral figure that came to the islands in ancient times, as well as the statues that represent him. They are variously carved in both wood and stone, and often depict a being with large, goggle-like eyes. The lore has it that Tiki was the primary ancestor and was created in the image of the sky god. The local people made statues in honor of their creator god, Tiki, and used them in worship. And this is what Tiki looks like? At, uh, yes, because they, they say in the legend that when Tiki left the earth, they made the sculpture of how he looked like, just to have something to remember from Tiki. So that's how he looked like, actually. It looks very strange to me. This is a representation of what your ancestors thought this figure looked like. It doesn't look like a man. It looks weird. Yeah, I mean, he, he sort of looks like a man, but with these big goggle eyes and the elongated head and everything, he looks like an extraterrestrial. From what you know, do you think that the people of the Marquesas went as far as Easter Island? Are there any legends or stories behind that? So there is one story where when they say uh, that one chief of the island sent his seven sons to Easter Island because they were fighting a lot over here. So he sent them away, told them uh, if they wanted to come back, they had to make peace with one another. Seven brothers? Princes who left the Marquesas Islands for Easter Island hundreds of years ago? I think it's really fascinating that in the Marquesas, there's a story of seven brothers that were exiled by their father in order to go to Easter Island. You combine that with the fact that there is this platform on Easter Island with seven Moais standing on there, that would indicate to me that the Marquesas and Easter Island are, in fact, connected.